For more than 250 years, the White House on the Hill, known as Philip Van Horn House, has been witness to local history, especially during the American Revolution, when the war came right through the front door. On Sunday, April 13, 1777, a four-column force of 4,000 British Crown troops and Hessian soldiers, led by Lord Charles Cornwallis, attacked a small American garrison of about 500 Continentals, commanded by General Benjamin Lincoln. The British objectives? Surround the town of Boundbrook, capture the garrison and provisions, and capture General Benjamin Lincoln, who was headquartered at the Van Horn House. The attack was planned by Hessian Captain Johann Ewald. Ewald had personal knowledge of the village of Boundbrook and the Van Horn House because he was smitten by, and attempted wooing, Philip Van Horn's daughter, Jeanette. The British failed to capture Lincoln, but successfully plundered Boundbrook for all its arms and provisions. General Washington, on hearing of the attack, dispensed General Green and a force from Morristown to repel the British. Before their arrival, Cornwallis and his forces retreated with their spoils back to a fortified New Brunswick seven miles south. General Green arrived at the Van Horn house, where he too was charmed by his host. Instead of questioning Van Horn for hosting the enemy, Green sat down at the dinner being prepared for General Cornwallis.